Okay, so today we're going to talk about alkynes. Alkynes are carbon chains that have a triple bond somewhere within the molecule between two of the carbon atoms, okay? You're going to need to tell people where that triple bond is. You're going to need to tell people how long the carbon chain itself is, and you're going to attach the ending Y-N-E onto the end to show people that it is an alkyne, okay? What we have below is a six carbon chain with a triple bond starting at carbon number two. Now I've numbered the chain from the right to the left because that gives the triple bond the lower number, two versus four. So we're gonna call this hex dash two dash ein. Hex for six carbons, ein for the triple bond, and two to tell us where the triple bond starts. Multiple triple bonds are going to be denoted with diein, triein, tetraein, these di, tri, tetra, pent prefixes that you've seen before for difluoro, trichloro, tetraiodoth, and things like that. So in this example, we have an eight carbon chain and two triple bonds. If we number the carbons from the left, those triple bonds start at number three and number six. But if we number the carbons from the right, those triple bonds start at carbon number two and number five. Two is lower than three, so we're going to number them from the right. It was eight carbons long, so we start with oct. We number two and five for where the triple bonds start and we use the ending diein to show that there are two triple bonds. Because diein starts with a consonant, we're going to include an A to make it octa diein, simply because, well, those are the rules. And I think supposedly it rolls off the tongue better to say octa diein than just oct diein. Although you do need to give us where the numbers are. Anyways, okay. I'd also like to emphasize to you what happens when you have double and triple bonds in the same molecule. You're going to have to tell people where the double bonds are, where the triple bonds are, and maybe for the double bond, tell us if it's a cis or trans isomer. The example molecule that I have here for you is also eight carbons long. Its triple bond starts at carbon number two, that's pretty clear and the double bond starts at carbon number five. So, we simply call it oct5en to ein. The enes go first and the eins come later. Anything with a double and triple bond will be an en ein. Notice we chop the e off the end of en because ein starts with a Y, which technically counts as a vowel in this case. It's just another one of the rules you'll have to deal with it. Now, because that double bond has cis-trans isomerism, and in fact, I'm highlighting here where the two hydrogen atoms would be, and they are across from each other relative to the double bond, this is the trans isomer, and you have to call it trans oct 5 en 2 i you can include trans at the very front, and it's not ambiguous what that refers to. It has to be the double bond because only the ene part, the double bond, can have cis-trans isomerism. Okay, so here we have another eight carbon long chain. This one has its triple bond starting at carbon number two, and it has two double bonds. That makes it a diene, and those Double bonds start at carbon five and seven. Now, I've also included two chlorine atoms at the very end of the molecule. This is carbon number eight. And again, I want to emphasize, we have to number this from the right-hand side, not the left, because the triple bond gets the lowest number possible. So, octa, five, seven, diene, two, ein, is the root of this. Now, we also add 8,8 dichloro to the front to show people where the two chlorine atoms are located. And we're going to need to tell people about cis-trans isomerism again. 
Now, if you take a close look at the double bond between number 7 and number 8, there is no cis-trans isomerism here. You have two chlorines attached to carbon number 8. And simply because those two chlorines are the same type of atom, there's no cis-trans isomerism here by definition. But there is for the double bond between carbon 5 and 6. I am highlighting here the two hydrogen atoms that aren't shown in this type of structure. They are across from each other relative to the double bond, and so that makes this the trans isomer. Trans 8,8-dichloro-octa-5,7-diene-2-ine. Complicated name, but unambiguous, and I hope you understand where each part of that molecule name comes from. Best of luck.